Hey guys, so it is the morning of surgery. So it's 6 13. We're on our way. We're super late because we woke up late. So we're gonna do a implant swap and also um, I'm getting a lift. So I'm gonna have a lollipop incision and also a banana. So that means the um, the scar that's under the breast as well with the lollipop so he said it was my choice on what um, incision I wanted to do but I really want them to just look nice perky you know so I wanted them like to look more tight more up because as I um, told you guys in my first video they're more like you know granny style right now so I don't want granny style I want to look 25 so I told him that so I know that's exactly what he's gonna do so I'm excited um, a little bit nervous I've been nervous the whole week so I'm actually happy that this is finally happening and I can get this over with so yeah so um obviously I'm not gonna be able to vlog when I come out because I'm not gonna be able to move my arms so that's gonna be um, a problem Maybe I'll have somebody else do it for me if I'm even like able to request that. But um, all right, so we're on our way to the hospital now and I will see you later. Six hours later. Hi guys, hi followers and friends. So I'm done, I'm officially out of surgery. And I feel a little sore. But other than that, I'm okay. I feel good. I'm just sore and sleepy. When I go home, I'll probably take a nap. And you want to show yourself? And that's Auntie. Auntie <laughs> and she's sitting here with me. So yeah. Um, like I said, I can't really vlog. You know, I can't really move my arms too much as of right now. Maybe in like four or five days, I will be able to. I hope so. Yeah, but, um, he said. Yeah, so I'm finished and I'll see you guys at home. Bye guys. Hey girls, so it is, well, I'm one day post-op. So yesterday I had my surgery. I think the last clip that you saw of me, I was actually in the hospital. I didn't get a chance to like vlog when I came home just because, not because I was in pain, it wasn't even that. It was just because I had so many like guests coming to see me and guys like i am so thankful my whole family has been here they are the best and um my friends too my friends as well they've been coming in and out i'm very lucky that i've had a lot of guests that's like really sweet so that's why i wasn't really vlogging yesterday it was kind of like a busy day i had like a lot of people in my house so i didn't get a chance to vlog i will basically just like catch up on everything now so this is what ended up happening because i don't think i spoke about the size so basically what he did is what i told you when we were on our way to the hospital what he was going to do he gave me a lift i have a banana scar and a um lollipop scar as well when he went in to do the surgery i initially told him and i told you guys as well that i wasn't sure what how many cc's that i had i kind of knew it was around like i assumed that it was like 220 something like that 225 it was in the lower 200s it was something like that but I couldn't remember exactly so what he did when he ordered the implants is he said alright I'm gonna order a smaller pair and I'm gonna order a bigger pair so that way um, when I go in if I need the small one or the larger one you know I'll have both just in case because since you don't know when he came out and he spoke to my family he said that I had a 270 in my what is this my right breast so my right breast is the one that's bigger and um more tubular my left breast is the one that was more narrow and smaller so he said i had a 270 in one breast and i had a what was it oh my god i can't 240 in the left breast when i went for my pre-op consultation um obviously he was like what I really need to know today is what you want to look like because when you're on the table you're not gonna be awake so you can't talk to me and be like I want to be bigger I want to be smaller and I told him really my only concern was looking tighter and more round 
and just really this shape I don't really I didn't really care about being bigger I actually didn't want to be bigger so I told him I don't really want to be bigger I don't want to be the same size because I'm already a double D and I do not want to be any bigger than a double D because um, that's just too big and then I'm gonna start to like specializing bras and I ain't trying to do that like I am not in the adult entertainment industry I do not need huge breasts and double D is way big enough for me so I told him um, even if they're smaller I really don't mind if they're smaller when he came out and he spoke to my family he told them that I he ended up doing a 250 cc in both breasts so since he reduced them and he tightened them and he took off a lot of skin he was able to make them the same size so now I have a 250 in both my breasts both left and right for recovery wise I'm feeling really 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 good I didn't expect to literally not be in any pain because I'm not in any pain of course I'm uncomfortable like I had a major surgery of course I'm gonna feel uncomfortable but that is it I haven't taken any Percocet I have not taken an Advil a Tylenol at all nothing I feel really good like I said I'm just a little sore I can feel the burning sensation where my new incisions are of course and I was actually able to sleep last night usually no typically I cannot sleep the first two or three days I really don't get sleep until like the fourth or fifth day so I'm really exhausted I'm tired usually I'm on my Percocet or whatever um, painkiller they gave me but this time has been totally different I slept for three hours last night so after everybody went to sleep I was like up watching TV trying to get comfortable I knew that I wouldn't really like get a good sleep I wasn't expecting to get a good sleep but I slept for three hours which is pretty good um, considering my other surgeries I have not been able to sleep that well especially the first night I like kind of be like napping for an hour but that is it this is my one day post-op check-in maybe I'll check back in with you guys later if I forgot to say something but if not I will see you guys tomorrow from my two-day post-op so be back later guys hey beauty queens so um what am I I am four days post-op right now so I did not vlog yesterday I kind of vlogged on Instagram on my insta stories I did like a whole big insta stories about like how I was feeling so far so if you don't follow me on Instagram definitely follow me on Instagram because I'm very active on there I'm on there like every single day for sure so if you don't follow me on there definitely follow me on there I haven't really had like much change in the recovery process which I think four days in is good so um yesterday I had taken a shower for the first time because I was allowed to take a shower finally so I was really scared to take a shower I was like so terrified because I didn't want to see anything I thought my gauze was gonna be like full of blood and I was just like not ready to see it because if you guys ever had surgery you know that the scars like the first week or two are a little tiny bit intense so my mom helped me with everything she took everything off me and she helped me take a shower it was actually the best shower ever like I was like wow this feels so good so I was so happy that I was able to take a shower but it went well it was a good shower I got to clean myself and I felt satisfied I am still kind of the same I'm not really in any pain of course I have some like small the smallest little discomfort but that is to be expected I just had a major surgery right now actually today more like end of yesterday today what's bothering me is my scars under the breasts are like kind of sticking to my to this bra my surgical bra and it's like not itchy but it's like a little uncomfortable so i keep on like trying to um get it off but no matter what i have to wear this bra like i cannot take this bra off because i need compression maybe later i'll like loosen it a tiny bit even though i don't think um it's supposed to be loosened because he actually told my mom when i came out of surgery he gave her an extra bra and he was like she needs to wear this one and this one's gonna be tighter because again she needs compression i know that my boobs are gonna go down a lot in the next several months and over the years but right now they look perfection like i am so happy you guys they look so good this is exactly what i wanted to look like I love them um he also told my family when I came out of surgery that 
for me looking down they're gonna look different from my angle than they are when somebody's like facing me and looking at me I don't mind looking a little bit smaller like I said before I just feel like this is just the perfect size for me like when I tell you exactly what I wanted I mean exactly what I wanted so I am so happy like beyond happy but yeah guys I think that's really it for today recovery has been really good really smooth I'm just relaxing drinking a lot of water um haven't taken anything no advil nothing at all I just have a little discomfort um under my breasts where the incisions are because it's like rubbing against my bra but other than that it's good tomorrow I have my first follow-up appointment first follow-up appointment since he's seen me in the hospital and he performed the surgery so hopefully everything goes really good and he says I look really good I didn't pop any stitches I hope if I did, I will punch myself in the face because that's going to be a problem if I did. But I don't think I did. I think I'm good. But yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to do that. I'm going to see him for the first time. And really, all he's going to do if everything is fine is just look at them. I guess I will bring you guys with me. But I don't think I'm going to be able to show when I go inside because um, I'm going to be not naked, but... Um, kind of naked like my boobs are gonna be out so i can't put that on youtube but i'll take you guys with me when i go to the office and i guess i'll let you know how that follow-up appointment went but yeah i'm gonna check out here and i'm gonna sign out here so it's day four again like i said before and i will see you guys tomorrow Bye. Hey beauty queens so it's day five okay. i'm on my way to my first appointment my first post up appointment and he's gonna check everything out see if everything's going smooth so far so wish me luck because i hope that everything is good so see you later hey guys so i am back and hmm we are officially two weeks post up so it's been a while since i've seen you guys not too too much has happened but I think in the last clip, I was going to the doctor that day of, and I didn't really get to talk about what happened there. So basically, I went, and this was a couple of days after surgery. I had my surgery on, when was it, April 12th, and then I went for my first follow-up appointment on Wednesday, that following Wednesday. So first of all i was kind of surprised that he was gonna not see me like the next day even though it was saturday and he doesn't i'm pretty sure he doesn't see patients on saturday i don't know i could be totally wrong i have no idea in my previous surgeries my doctor always saw me immediately the next day um i guess it's just you know depending on what the what they think the outcome is going to be like and if they think it's like you know if you need to be seen the next day or not but i guess since this one was like my fourth surgery and he didn't do as much like really hard i don't want to say not hard work but you know what i mean like not crazy stuff like my other three surgeries we waited until the next week for me to see him and i in the past have always had um dissolvable stitches and tape i'm pretty sure because i don't remember my doctor removing anything at all under other than my bandages literally that's all he took off he took off the bandages for me in my last surgeries and that was it he never took off stitches he never removed stitches took off tape i i don't remember that happening when i went to go see my doctor this time dr tana for the first time um I was not expecting to have anything like removed or taken off um so I went there and I saw him and he was like all right so we're gonna take off the tape on your bottom incisions today this incisions that I have under the breast and I was like uh, uh oh like I didn't know that they were gonna do that so whatever they took it off and it was like it wasn't painful because you can't really feel anything so it was just like creepy like how do i explain it like just the noise and sound of it and i could ob like obviously i could kind of feel it i could feel it like pu my skin pulling so i felt it like pull from the incision and that was like kind of like um creepy i didn't really like that i was like ew but it didn't it wasn't painful so they took that off and then he told me when i see you next week which was 
the appointment that I had yesterday, he was like, we'll take off the tape on the nipple incision. So that's what they did. They, they removed the tape from the nipple incision. And I guess since I had that tape a little bit longer, um, it didn't hurt coming off. Like it actually came right off and it didn't hurt at all. It was just, again, just a little pull. At this point, I have a lot of bruises still. And I think it's going to take a while to go down because they are big big bruises and they're really really dark still so they are clearly not going away anytime soon and i'm getting also new bruises i don't know if that's weird but i have a bruise like right here unless i never noticed it i have a bruise right here now and it hurts so bad and it's one of the smaller bruises too and of course the smallest one hurts the most and this side the right side is the side that they did more work on and that's the side that I could um, feel. So yesterday at my appointment also, they took off the tape on my nipple incision and they also took out two stitches. So I was under the impression that I had completely like all dissolvable stitches but she was like you actually have two stitches that are not dissolvable so we're going to take that out today and I was like okay like i had no idea that i they didn't tell me that i had two that like weren't dissolvable i don't know if they just like didn't want to give me any anxiety about like having them removed because um i don't know like people are weird people say things hurt really bad when they don't so i don't know maybe that's why they didn't tell me i just i just didn't know so she removed them and it again was like kind of like gross because it felt like i don't know it just felt weird like i'm numb there so i can't really feel everything but it just felt like she was like taking like a hook out of like my bones it was just it was like scratchy you know but it didn't hurt it was just weird like the feeling was just weird so she took out those and again like i said i didn't know that i had those two stitches that are not dissolvable and i was feeling them a lot but i didn't know they were there so i just thought it was like my my incision just like you know still kind of like trying to heal up but it was the stitches that were bothering me so now that those are removed i actually feel like way more comfortable now i feel like i can move around a little bit more like they just feel i feel less tension now so that's what she told me too she was like you have a lot of tension where these stitches are because where this stitch is is where we put all your skin together like we stapled it all together in this area so that's why you feel the most tension here and i was like gotcha that makes sense so that was what they did yesterday and she was like we'll see you in two weeks now because everything looks really good you're like fine exactly how you're supposed to be looking so we'll see you in two more weeks and that will be your one month post-op as i told you guys i can't really like show you guys too much because all my work is like around my nipples and i can't show my nipples on youtube so it's hard for me to show you anything but if i take some pictures of like my bruises i'll try to insert them into this video and hopefully my video doesn't get flagged just so you could like see something because i haven't showed you guys really anything anything but um i think i'm gonna end this recovery vlog here um basically for the talk through session if i want to insert pictures or like little like angle clips i will do that after this but this is gonna be it for my little talk through part and if i forgot anything i will insert it later so i'll see you guys later bye